Hot Bay Stock, Gosun Tuyisa. You're very welcome to Sun Tuyisa, where we look at the readings for tomorrow. Uh, Monday, the 11th of March, the Feast of St. Angus. Uh, St. Angus was a reformer in the church in Ireland at a time when the church had fallen in its standards. He and St. Mel Rouen were involved in establishing the Cayley Day movement to reform worship and prayer in Ireland and to centre uh, worship on the word of God and on the sacraments. The first reading tomorrow is taken from the prophet Isaiah and it's showing us God saying, I will intervene. I will create a new heaven and a new earth and the past will not be remembered. I will put right what has gone wrong. I now create Jerusalem joy and her people gladness. That the punishment that has come from following sin is now over. Be glad and rejoice forever. The Lord's intervention is always to be welcomed and it always brings joy. And the psalm, Psalm 30, I will praise you, Lord. You have rescued me. You have rescued our people, Lord, from those who would lead us astray. You have done this in history. Come and do it again. And the gospel is taken from John chapter 4. It is the story of the court official whose son was ill at Capernaum and he meets Jesus at Cana in Galilee. And Jesus tells him, don't be worried, go home, your son will live. And on his way home, he's met with the news that the boy is alive. And he said, when did he get well? And the fever left him yesterday at the seventh hour. The seventh hour. And that was the moment that Jesus had directed him to go home, that his son would be well. The Lord is generous in responding to our prayers. Put your trust in him that he will come and rescue us is as certain as the dawn. The rainbow God put in the sky to remind us always that God keeps his promises. That's what the rainbow means. That's what the scriptures say the rainbow is for. It's a reminder that God will keep his promises and that those who turn back to him will find mercy. With thoughts such as these, let us go to our beds and let us pray that we shall indeed awaken in the morning with the praise of God on our hearts and on our lips. Agus gamana the ale the shiv, ahur mak agus spirit nave. Amen. Slangafo. Bye for now.